around. Drought danger efforts to conserve water are sucking the life out of trees. It'll just take one strong El Nino storm to send the dead ones crashing to the ground. Today, 10 News meteorologist Craig Guerrero found out that watering the trees could also kill them. You can see the signs all over the county. This tree, as you can see, is starting to show signs of stress. Peeling bark and unhealthy trees. That is not part of the tree. It's a lesion caused by disease from lack of watering. It's basically, it looks like the, the bark has split open and you can also see where the bark is collapsing right here. San Diegans have done a great job responding to the four year drought, maybe too good. We have a contradiction here with water requirements between our plant and tree types. Drip irrigation systems like this work well, but. But it does not deliver the amount of water that the trees require in order for them to stay healthy. And you may not notice until it's too late. Six months, two years even goes by before you might notice any of the stress showing up. The correct way to water your tree is first to look up into the tree, find the canopy of the tree in the edge of it, come down to the ground and about halfway between the canopy and the tree trunk is about where you should be watering. We would recommend that water gets to a depth of one, two, maybe even three feet. And that will help trees stay healthy, especially as San Diego gets ready for a potentially strong El Nino. Each one of them is going to have different stress triggers and different stress tolerant levels. Getting to the root cause may save some trees. In Carlsbad, I'm meteorologist Craig Herrera, 10 News. And for more information on watering trees and shrubs, go to our website. Click on the red TV button.